Chapter 11, Mishnah 3. Once Mechatas has been sanctified with Paraduma ash and become fit for sprinkling, someone who touches it for any purpose not related to sprinkling becomes Tame from it. The same is true for utensils and food that touch it. This Mishnah discusses what happens to Truma that falls into Mechatas and to the person who eats it. If a piece from a cake of pressed figs that were Truma fell into Mechatas, and someone took it out and ate it, the status of the person fix in Mechatas is as follows. If the piece was the size of an egg, which is the minimum size necessary for Tame food to transmit Tuma to other items, then whether the piece was Tame before it fell into the Mechatas, or whether it was Tahar when it fell in, the Chatas water became Tame, because even Teruma figs that are Tahar are considered Tame in regard to Chatas, and the person who ate the figs is liable to death at the hand of he- hands of heaven. This is because he became Tame from the Mechatas that were on the figs. And a Tame person who eats Teruma is liable to death at the hands of heaven. However, if the cake of figs was smaller than the size of an egg, then the Chatas water remains Tahor, even if the figs were Tame, since Tame food smaller than the size of an egg does not transmit Tuma to other items. Nevertheless, the person who ate the figs is liable to death at the hands of heavens, heaven, even in this case, because he became Tame from the water of the Mechatas, and he ate Teruma while being Tame. The Mishnah has taught that even Teruma, that is Tahor, is considered Tame with regard to Mechatas, and therefore Teruma figs that are the size of an egg transmit Tuma to the Mechatas. The next time it disagrees. Rabbi Yossi says, if the piece of pressed Teruma figs that fell in was Tahor, the Chatas water remains Tahor even if the piece was the size of an egg. According to Rabbi Yossi, an item that is Tahor with regard to Teruma is treated as Tahor with regard to Mechatas as well. The rabbis decreed that someone who immerses his head and most of his body in she'uvin water becomes tame. Any water contained in a utensil is considered she'uvin. Thus, mechatas, which are made and kept into a container, are always she'uvin water. The Mishnah discusses the decree of immersing the she'uvin water in regard to mechatas. A person who is tahor for chatas, who immersed his head and most of his body in mechatas, becomes Tame, because Mechatas is drawn in a utensil from a spring and is therefore considered She'uvin water. This makes the person who immersed in it Tame on the level of a Sheni. Having become Tame to this extent, he is no longer Tahor for Mechatas. Thus, the Mechatas now makes him Tame as a Rishon.